Hi guys! It's been a while. It's January 11th, 2023. I think the last time I filmed, I don't know, maybe back in October. I don't even know what fall suit this is. Let me see. It's, it's, it's been a while. Uh, this is floss tube number 13. <laughs> I have been busy. We've had lots and lots of visitors since October. And let's see, how long has it been since? It's been four months. So it's been a while. We've had visitors. We've done a lot of traveling. Obviously, there was the holidays. So... Things are finally slowing down a bit, and I thought I would do a little recap and whip parade. I don't think I've ever done a whip parade, but I have a lot of whips and some that I don't think I want to keep after I look through them. I was going through all of them, and there's a few that I don't know that I will ever finish. I didn't think I would ever say that about any of my, prop, my whips, but... There's just some that are too hard for me to work on, and I'll never pick them up because of it. So today we're going to go over, we're going to go through every single one of my whips, and um, I'll show a couple of finishes that I finished yesterday. Um, first, fin first time finished in ornaments and a flat fold. And I know it's not part of my whip, but I, I want to show because I'm so proud of them. Um, things are finally getting back to normal. The kids went back to school. Husband's back at work. I started a new class. Um, yeah, things are slow, slowed way down since the holidays. We had, I had visitors from October all the way through Christmas in my house. So it was, it was busy. We were going, visit. they wanted to, you know, travel and do all the things. So we were going constantly and then Christmas was Christmas and it was great and we, we really enjoyed it. But now we're, we're ready to just slow down and relax a little. Even though I don't know how much you can relax with five kids. But I have a lot, um, I've been doing a lot of crafts. Just haven't had the chance to sit down and make a video. <laughs> I had a free moment to do it today before my husband got home and the kids got home and I actually got up early this morning and fixed my hair and left the house so I actually look presentable, somewhat presentable. My hair is crazy because it's raining but this is as good as it's going to get. I just laid the baby down for his nap so we hopefully we'll be good for a little, for at least long enough for me to do this video. <laughs> you might hear him in the background because it takes him a little while for him to go to sleep. He just jabbers and talks. And so to sleep. So, you'll have to forgive me. I started some new whips. Did not write any of the um, details down when I started or the stitch count or anything of, of that nature. I just started them on a whim and didn't really think too much about it. But we'll get started and I'll try to answer. I'll try to put in as much detail as I can on each one. But if you have any questions, you can leave those and I will answer them as, as needed. If you're new here, welcome. Um, I will add a little about me for the new people. Um, I am a mom of five. My oldest is 15. My youngest is one. And we're a military family. We live in Germany right now. And I'm a stay-at-home mom. I am currently in school getting a bachelor's in intercultural studies. And um, I love to crochet. I love to cross-stitch. I love to sew. I haven't sewn anything in a long time because it's hard to get the sewing machine out with the baby around. But um, that's pretty much it. I'm originally from Mississippi, if you can't tell my southern accent. I've, I've been watching a lot of, um, uh, lots of floss tube, and I realized there are some other 
flossed over from Mississippi too, so that makes me happy. Um, I think that's it. Uh, I will say I tried. I went for my birthday. My birthday is December 31st. I tried to go to the Sveiga factory, which is like a couple hours from here. So it's a drive. It's like a day's drive to go out there and come back. And it was closed. <laughs> I was a little upset about that. I guess it was just the timing of it. Holiday season. I know the Germans do take like a, like a long time off for Christmas. So I guess it was just bad timing. But I was so excited to go. Um, yeah. I got a couple things for Christmas. But I'm not going to show them today. I'll show them in a different video. I did reach 100 subscribers last time I checked. Hold on, let me check again. I have 103 subscribers, so look out for a giveaway in the near future and um, to celebrate that. And then, and now we'll go ahead and get started on the whips. So the first one is, it's my favorite whip that I'm doing currently. And I get super discouraged with it when I see it in a in the Q-snap because I'm like, my progress isn't that great. But then when I take it out of the Q-snap, I'm absolutely blown away by how much I've gotten done. It, it's beautiful. So this is a Mirabilia. It's called Roses of Province. I'm gonna try to find the information. Okay, so it is on 28 count vintage smoky white, but this is what it will look like. Very pretty. It's huge. I chose I chose a very huge Mirabilia to start for my first one. So 28 count vintage smoky white. This is my progress. Like I said, when it's in the Q snap, I'm very disappointed in my progress. But then when I take it out, I am like, wow, she's gonna be massive. <laughs> and no, I didn't iron any of my whips today. That seemed like a waste of time because they're just going to get wrinkled again in the, in the, um, I did do a couple of beading in it to, to kind of get the feel. I've never done beading before. I did go ahead and do some beading and I really enjoyed actually. I didn't think I would, but it was fun, but I had to stop because I don't want to do all the beading now because of, I use a Q-snout. So, okay, the next whip, you guys have to be patient with me because I have to find each one of these. They're not in order to find these on <laughs> in my book. So this one is, it doesn't really have a name, but I just named it Primitive Alice in Wonderland, but that's not what the name of it is. It's by Stitchy Princess on Etsy. I will insert a photo of what it's supposed to look like. And this is my progress. This is on 16 count Ada Woodland Moss. It's one of my favorite uh, fabrics, color of fabrics that I own. It's, you can't tell it at all. The lighting is horrible. I don't have my ring light on, but this is like a, it's a green. It looks gray on here. This is the progress I have. It's just the white from the teacup. I think with this one, I'm trying to color complete as I go. I'm just doing one color at a time. Okay, now the next one is, this is a sort of totally random piece that I've done. Um, it's not my style, but it, but as I'm stitching it, I'm really starting to fall in love with it. Um, this is Token of Fall by Hello by Liz Matthews. This is on a 16 count Ada by Picture This Plus. It just says Ada, it doesn't really have a name. I'll insert a photo of what it's supposed to look like. And this is my progress. I haven't worked on this one. In a very long time. Obviously, there's not a lot of progress, but 
It's a start, right? Okay. I'm trying to put these up as I go. Alright, this one, I don't know where the pattern is. Oh, here it is. This one is a pattern that I won by, I won from Nisi Lynn. I don't think I have a cover photo for this one. It's very, it's a very unique pattern. And I never would have like just picked it out of nowhere. Here, here's a cover photo. But because I want it and it was free, I was like, I'll start it. Um, this is my first piece that I've done with over dyed flosses. They all are dental arts. I can actually show them too. So this is what it's supposed to look like. It's supposed, to, it's called a Quaker game bo board. What is wrong with my words? By Papillion Creations. This is what it's supposed to look like. Very, very cute. Not something I would just buy, but it's it's a mustache. I'm stitching it, and it says, "All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. All play and no work makes Jack a mere toy." And this is stitched on sixteen count Ada lamb's wool is what it says. These are the flosses. These were all called for. Like I said, my first time using Overdyed. So it's um, soot, blueberry, gentle, gentle art, briar rose, which is a beautiful color, tarnished gold, Lexington green, and Highland heather. And I think I'm missing two. But these are the flosses. Not a very good, there, that's good. That's a good depiction of, wait, there you go. But these are the flosses. Um, missing two, I'm missing Brethren, Blue, and Picket Fence, I think. Um, oh, and there was an, another one. Black Raspberry Jam. That has a beautiful variegation. One, two, three stitch was, has been out of those two for a while. And that's really the only place that I, I know for sure will ship here. So anyway, let's, I don't think I've ever shown any progress on this. Because I think I started it since my last video. I don't remember. But this is what I have done. The top left. It's going pretty fast, actually. I thought it would take me forever to do it. But all the little motifs and I've just been trying to do a square. Here and there, or not a square, but a little piece of the border here and there because I do hate borders too. So it's so I'm not doing all of it at once, but it's pretty cute. It's on really stiff fabric, obviously, but I've come to realize that I really don't like anything other than Ada because I can't see it with or without my glasses. So. If I have to struggle to see it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pick it up and work on it at all. Um, my next piece is Wicked. I don't have it wrote down what, where I got this pattern from. I know it was on Etsy, but if you're interested, I can look it up and let you know. This is done on Picture This Plus 28 Count Jade. Lugana fabric. I will post a picture of what it's supposed to look like. This is my progress. Pretty, I would say I'm about half, a little over halfway done. There's not much more to do. I don't think there's anything, I can't remember what the pattern looked like, but I don't think there's anything more than just him and her to stitch. I do love this fabric. The fabric color is not what it's not appearing very true on the 
camera. It's a beautiful green. And I had to do green, right? So there's that one. This next one is one that I think I've said before that I'm gonna UFO because I just purely hate it. It is a pattern I got off of Etsy. And there's nothing wrong with a pattern. I, I just don't like having to stitch the same thing because it's the majority of it is just one color. This is the state of Mississippi. It's by Country Magic Stitch on Etsy. It's on 14 Count Ada. I had changed the colors. I think this color was like brown or something. And right now it's like a greenish blue. I don't even remember what color I chose. But this is only the middle part of it. <laughs> so you have the rest of it up here and then the rest in the bottom i don't know it will be it would be really pretty when it's done i just am tired of the repetitiveness of it so i don't know if i'll ever finish it i'll probably just keep it i did a couple of days ago take all of my flosses and put them in my boxes because i was coming to a point where i was i couldn't find a lot of the colors that i needed for a project and i knew it was in another project so I took all of my flaws, put them all in the boxes, and I'm just going to use them as I, as needed. And if I had doubles, then I, I left them in the project bag. Or if there was like a specialty piece, I left it in the project bag. This next one, we're going on a trip tomorrow for the weekend. I think I'm going to take this with me because I'm forced to work on it, just the one, and finish it. This one's called... Read Past My Bedtime by Stitch Rovia on Etsy. Well, I think you can find her stuff other places, but I, f I bought this one on Etsy. This is 14 Count Ada. Here's a picture of what it's supposed to look like. And here is in progress. Really close to being done. It's pretty. This one I'm stitching for my daughter. Super, super close. I think... I ran out of one of the colors and that's why I haven't worked on it in a long time. This one, I don't love. It was my first box, well, not box, kit that I bought from Forbidden, Forbidden Fabrico, my first and only. And I just really don't like it and I don't know why. I don't know why. Maybe because you just use one floss the whole time. You don't change it because it's a multicolor floss. But it's called Home Sweet Home. And, and maybe that's another, another reason. I may just use this floss for something else. I didn't know that was in there. Um, this floss is gorgeous. This is Forbidden Fiber Co. Prism. I could definitely take it and use it for something else. Very pretty, rainbow floss. And I just realized there were some other Forbidden Fiberco flosses in there that I might use on something else. But this is what it's supposed to look like. And this is on 14 Count Ada Summer Slices. This is my progress. So not a whole lot. I think I could just, I could probably just take all that out and use this little piece of fabric on something else. This is a beautiful piece of fabric. But it has its own little bag and everything. It was a whole, not a box, but like a little kit where everything was themed. Um, it came with, I think it came with a needle minder, which is not in here. And it came with the pattern. It came with... Two other flosses. But anyway, I don't think I'll ever finish it because I don't like it. The next one is my one and only piece of the Autumn Lane Stitchery. I love a lot of their stuff. Um, and then some stuff I'm not crazy about. 
So like their their box that came out, their Christmas box. I'm glad I didn't get it because I wasn't just crazy. I mean, I like their stuff, but I don't think any of their stuff that I made, I would hang in my house. Or any of their stuff in that box, I would actually stitch and hang in my house. So, I just realized I have a bunch of random other notes in my cross stitch book. So this is called Siren of the Sea. It's one of my favorites that they've come out with. I do like their, let's see what else did, there was something else. I do like their sows. Their sows are pretty cool. I just, I have an issue with buying a pattern before I see it. I, cause I'm, I don't think I would like it. But then after they release their, their whole thing, the whole pattern for like the, I can't remember the name, the Queen of the Sea or something. I'm like, oh, that's really pretty. But this one wasn't a sow. This one's called Siren of the Sea by Autumn Lane Stitchery. It's on 18 Count Ada, Mermaid Sea by Under the Sea Fabrics. This is the called for fabric, called for floss. I will insert, actually, no, 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 no. I will show you a picture <laughs> of what it's supposed to look like. It's gonna be huge. I've gotten, I think there's, how many pages? Four pages. And I've gotten one page completely finished. I'm at a stopping point because my printer is not got any ink right now. So this is my progress. One page finish. Love the colors, love the blue, love the turquoise and the purple. It's very, very vibrant, vibrant colors. You can't really see from this angle how beautiful it is but I may add some crinic or something in there to give it a little sparkle or some uh, beads maybe but I haven't worked on that one since the summertime I think is the last time I worked on that my next one is one that's been calling my name for a while but because it's not been in a hoop or anything I've just, I've just not picked it up. This is a modern folk embroidery piece. Fruits of Plenty. I know everybody and their brother has done it. I'm late on the game. I've only done the very first month, January. And I'm not even quite finished with it, but I'm so close to being finished with that, that one piece. Um, I will insert a picture here of what it's supposed to look like, although I'm pretty sure everybody already knows what it looks like. But I am stitching this on 28 count, pure white, Lugana. This is stitched with Sulky 0640 and DMC 3817. This is my progress. I love it. I really need to get back into it. The Sulky is just so smooth to work with and enjoyable. Greens are my favorite color, so I know everybody stitched this in a different colorway. These are the colors I chose. I love the simplicity of just changing back and forth with two colors. I don't love stitching an entire piece with one color. It gets boring to me. But this is two colors. So if you get tired of one color, you're going to hop on over to the other color. Okay, this one is a Christmas piece. And I did not pull it out one time this Christmas. <laughs> I don't know why. I know why. Because I was stitching a lot of other Christmas pieces. And I don't think I have anything. I don't think I have any of the details wrote down in my book. But this is a Cricut Collection. Sugar Cookies is the name of it. This is what it's supposed to look like. And I've got very tiny, very tiny bit of it done. I don't have the details of what fabric is it on, but I think it's 28 count. I've just got an O and a K, almost. I don't know why I didn't pull it out and stitch it, but it's a really pretty piece. I think I had messed up on it somewhere. 
and I was just afraid to get it out and deal with it. But I should have. I should have worked on it at least on one letter. So maybe I'm not opposed to working on it out of season. So maybe I'll pull it out soon and work on it. You eat sugar cookies all year long, right? I think all the little motifs in there are Christmassy. Yeah, there's a Christmas tree and a snowman and a Santa Claus. So this piece I was working on for my middle son for his birthday and his birthday already come and gone and I still haven't finished it. I am horrible at deadlines. This is Ninja Turtle by Pixelman Strikes Back on Etsy. However, the last few times I've looked Pixelman Strikes Back, it's not been on there. So I don't know if you can buy their patterns anymore. There was a lot of really cute ones. I've actually got a Big Bang one that I want to do for my husband. And I did a New Kids on the Block one from them. I should have bought a whole bunch of them before they let, before they were no longer on Etsy. <laughs> but this is what it will look like. Um, it is on 28 count Lugana. I don't know the name of it, but it's by Fire Poppies. So I got one Ninja Turtle done and almost another one. And I don't remember which one this was. I don't remember. I was missing a couple of threads for this one. I think that's why I just gave up on trying to finish it for, for Deacon's birthday. So, it's an easy finish. Okay, this one I'm really ashamed of that I have not finished it. Because I have no excuse. It's beautiful. It's easy piece. All the, I did buy this one as a kit. All the all the threads there. Um, let's see, this is this was a sale by Sapphire Mountain Sapphire MT Handcrafts, and oh my gosh, what's her name? I can't think of her name. There was another floss tour that stitched this at the same time I stitched, well, when the sale came out. And she, she already finished it. I can't remember her name or her floss tube name. Let me look it up. She hasn't done a floss tube in a while. So Glover Creations. I think that's it. Is it? Is that it? I don't want to get it wrong. Anyway, she... Yes, so Glover Creation. She also stitched this and it was beautiful when she finished it. But I'll insert a photo of what it's supposed to look like. This is on 14 Count Ada. This is my progress. I think I got one page finished. That's why it's like cut off. The words are cut off. But it's a beautiful piece. Don't know why I lost interest in it, honestly. My kids would be thrilled if I finished that. Okay. This piece is giving me lots of trouble. I love this piece so, so much. It's from one of my favorite books. But I hate stitching on the fabric that it is stitched on. It is a black fabric. I think it's 28 count. I'm trying to find the information. Oh boy, I can't find the information. Um, I do this every time. The funny part is, uh, okay, there it is. It, it doesn't have a stitch count on it. Actually, it might be in the kit. So this is a kit by the Stitching Book Club. I ordered it. I don't think there was options for a different fabric count or color for that matter. I don't know what stitch it is. Anyway, it's tiny, it's black, and I hate it. 
So I'm thinking I might actually take it and stitch it on something else because my daughter loves the Great Gatsby. This is the Great Gatsby, by the way. My daughter's obsessed with the Great Gatsby and she's begging me to finish it. And, and I actually, so I was gonna do the 12 by 12 or whatever it was called with that Pam and Steph did and Kia and a bunch of other people did. But that's my birthday. And I had plans to start at noon, just like everybody else, and finish at midnight. And um, about three hours into it, my family was like, so we have a really close friend that lives down the road. And they were like, let's go over to her house. So we went over to her house, and it was a huge surprise party. So I didn't get to stitch like I wanted to, but it was for a good, good reason. So this is one of the ones that I pulled out and worked on. And in an hour... I only got this done. <laughs> I already had all of this done. But I got this done. Um, I will insert a photo of what it's supposed to look like. It's a pretty little piece. And I think I could stitch it on a different fabric and it would still be fun. It would probably have to be a darker fabric. But I think I'm, I'm throwing this fabric away. I will never use this. I don't know how stitching with the housewives... Um, stitch everything on black. I hate it. I hate it. And I hate that it's not, if it was eight, <laughs> I think it would be different, but I don't even know if they make 14 count either. So like, I hate this so much. I will never finish that unless I do it on a different fabric. I just thought of that just now, so I might actually do that. Okay. Love this next piece that I'm going to show you guys. So Glover Creations is stitching it with me. I don't remember what we call what we did the hashtag. I don't remember what it was called. Or if we even had a hashtag. But anyway, we were stitching it together. This is Water Dragon by Ingleside Imaginarium. I will insert a photo of what it's supposed to look like. Okay, I'm stitching this on 16 count. Ice blue Ada. It is blue. You can't really tell it in the photo, I'm sure. And I'm using all the called for. It's some chronic and some doom. And the rest is DMC. But this is my progress. It's so pretty. I don't think I've worked on this in a long time. But just looking at it makes me want to stitch it right now. So cute. I think So Glover Creations, if she's not already finished with it, She's close because she, the last time she showed it on one of her false tubes, she was way past me. Okay, next one is Mary Poppins by Little Stitcher Shop on Etsy. This is a Sal, me, and the Rogue Mama Stitcher are stitching together. She is way past me. I've slowed down because I hate 32 count. I'm pretty sure that's what this is, is 32 count. Because I think I bought double. I think I bought, also bought her the 32 count. Well, I finished the Mary Poppins, the name. <laughs> I'll put a picture here of what it's supposed to look like. And this is my progress. It's a beautiful piece. I just struggle. I struggle really hard with anything smaller count. And I, I know I can get a magnifying glass. I just hadn't done that. I, I need to do that. Cute little piece. Need to finish that one up. And I think the stitch along one, or the hashtag we used was spoonful of sugar. So I think. This next one. Is a cute one. Need to finish it. I could uh, definitely finish it and give it to my niece or nephew that I might be having getting soon. Or I might be getting a new niece or nephew soon is the more appropriate way to say it. Um, this one's called After the Rain. I am stitching it on 16 count Ada. This is by... I think this is by Hello by Liz Matthews. But here's what it's supposed to look like. And I think I had to change some of the colors because I didn't have all of the colors. 
but I thought about finishing it into like a little baby announcement for my brother-in-law and his wife. Okay, we're getting down to the bottom. Next one is one that I could finish right now if I wanted to. If I wanted to. This one is one of the first ones I started when I got back into cross stitch. It's been going on since 2021, June 2021. It is called Welcome Friends Quaker. I will insert a photo unless I have one right here. No, I don't have a photo. I'll insert a photo of what it's supposed to look like. This is 14 count Ada. Ooh, a needle. That one's way too big. Why is that in there? This is my progress. I could also take this one on my trip, but I think I'll take the other one. This is one where you just use the same color the whole time. I think I'm using 3760 is what I'm using. Cute little Quaker. Don't know if I'll do another Quaker, but at least I can say I gave it a try. <laughs> This is my favorite bag that I've made because of the pattern. I think I got this for like a dollar. It was a scrap piece of fabric from like a flea market. Oh, that has a pattern in it. Um, and I just turned it into a project bag. Why couldn't I think of the name of it? Okay, so this one, I've been itching to start. This is a new start. I've been itching to start this one for a long time. And I told myself I would start at the beginning of the year. A bunch of Floss Tubers have already started it, finished it. Some are just starting it, but it's been around for a while. I think it came out at the beginning of last year. But this is by Cottage Garden, A Year in the Woods, The Fox. I don't have a thing for foxes, but I don't dislike them. But uh, the beautiful orange in this <laughs> called me to it. And just the elegance of the fox and um, the patterns in her fur, his, her fur, whatever it is. And I can't help but sing, what does the fox say every time I stitch it? <laughs> so this is stitched on the called for fabric. Took me forever to get to track this down, by the way. That was another reason why I didn't start it off right away. I got the fabric on one, two, three stitch, but this is on 28 count. If it's not Ada, 28 count is the closest I can get to being able to see any stitches. And I still struggle a little bit, but this is my progress. And I think I did all of this in one setting. The fabric is gorgeous. Wait, is that upside down? That's upside down. <laughs> Pretty sure that's that's the Yeah, I think that was. <laughs> I think this is the right way. But I think this could be a quick finish if I would just. Sorry, there's something stuck on my leg. If I could just, if I wanted to sit and finish it. So this is this was my new year new start. Okay, the next one, guys. I'm struggling with it. It's a new start. It is my very first Hade that I purchased um, the last time they had a sale. I didn't write any details about this, so I don't remember when it was when I started it. But I was just going to do tent stitch. I'm doing it on the called for fabric, 25 count easy grid but I'm struggling really hard with it I only did like a hundred stitches and I'm like super discouraged with this mostly because I can't see the stitches um but I don't think you can do a hate on it on Ada so anyway I will insert the photo what it's supposed to look like and I'm gonna show you my little crappy start this is my little bitty teeny tiny crappy start and I'm struggling hard 
with seeing the stitches. And I'm so afraid I'm gonna mess up and then I've spent all that time into this and I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> so I'm struggling with whether or not I wanna finish this one, even though it's a beautiful piece. I would love to have it in my home. But I don't know if it's worth it. If I'm struggling that much. Another piece that I started during Christmas time is don't have any of the information here. Pretty sure I didn't write it down. It's a Christmas piece that most people think is silly. But I, I it called to me and I saw it and it was on sale and I got it. My daughter's she rolled her eyes when she saw it. But I love leopard print, cheetah print, obviously. And I saw this and um, just started it like out of nowhere. Don't know what it's stitched on. It's definitely Ada. But I got, almost got the leopard print tree done. <laughs> almost. I should have just finished the black at least. But I don't know if this one will come back out until Christmas time. Actually, I should take the hoop off of it. I think I had to use just random fat, uh, not fabric, floss that I had in stock because I didn't, I don't think it had a called for. It just had the picture and you could choose whatever colors you wanted. So I think, I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure that, or I just had to use whatever I had because, um, because I was out of the original colors. I don't remember. That one may be put away till Christmas. Um, I did do another Christmas star. It's my first Mill Hill. We had every intention of finishing it and giving it to our landlords for Christmas. Didn't happen. This is what it's supposed to look like. It's adorable. I may end up keeping it myself because it's freaking adorable. <laughs> I'm not sure my German landlords would appreciate it because they don't speak the greatest English. And I feel like the we would just be lost in communication and they would they'd be like, what is this? I don't understand. So I'm like, I think I would appreciate it better than them. I'm sorry for the, the wrinkle. The Crinkle. First Mill Hill. This is my progress. It's adorable. I love it. I love the blue. The blue is so pretty. So that is, there's that one. Um, I had some bags somewhere because this was not a bag. And then. My last piece that has consumed every part of my day lately because I'm crazy. This was a new start. I did, I can't remember if I started on my birthday. It might have been right before my birthday, but I consider this my birthday start. It is my first soda stitch, and I've been wanting to start one for so long. Everybody and their brother is stitching soda stitch, except for me. No, I'm just kidding. I couldn't decide on one that I wanted. I kept looking at them and looking at them, and I was like, I can't decide. I'm overwhelmed. So I finally found one, and the prices were not that bad, and it was a PDF that was like a requirement. I needed it to be PDF. Um, and I started it like, it was either December 30th or January 2nd. It was around my birthday, but this is considered, I'm going to consider this my birthday start. And I've gotten a lot done because this is the only thing I've been stitching on. This is what it's supposed to look like. And this is my progress. It is so stinking cute. I want to finish this before Valentine's Day, obviously. It's called Prayer. I think it's just called Prayer Cross. Prayer Soda Stitch. We don't have a cat, but we love cats. My son is allergic to them. But, I don't know, I just think of me and my husband. I don't have blonde hair and he doesn't have brown hair. I guess I could have changed it, but my being my first soda stitch, I wanted to just stick to the same colors. So, when I see this, I think of me and my husband. 
praying together. Um, it's adorable. And I will 100% be buying another soda stitch as soon as I'm done with this one. I love the soda stitch for one reason. It, well, for two reasons. It stitches up really fast. And I love the blockiness of the stitches. So, like, I don't know if that makes sense. And it may be because I'm stitching on Ada. I'm pretty sure this is, like, a 16 count. It might even, I think it might even be a 14 count Ada. I don't know where it came from. I think it was a piece that it came from Hobby Lobby that I got for my birthday or something. But... I just love the blockiness of every color. It's not, the graffiti is not bad. And I feel like every time I complete a color, I can see what it is, if that makes sense. Um, I can do a couple stitches and it's all, and it just starts to come together. I, I feel like I'm making progress every time I stitch something on this piece. And maybe because it's such a small piece, but it's so cute. I can't stop looking at it. I've only done the back stitch here. I haven't done the back stitch on anything else. I just wanted to see what it looked like. I hate back stitching, but it definitely livens up him. And it's so cute. I blame Rogue Mama Stitcher because she's always stitching so to stitch. And I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so cute. And then everybody else that I started watching, I think I started watching the tattoo. Stitcher, I think that's her Austin name. And she was stitching some, and somebody else I watched was stitching some, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go buy a piece. So this is my, considered my, oh, here's the fabric. My um, birthday stuff. So it's a 14 count Ada from Hobby Lobby, the Artiste brand. That one might be a finish soon. My first, probably my first finish for 2023. And I started it. <coughs> I can't remember. Actually, I could probably look on my Instagram and figure out when I started it. Oh, it was December 30th, so right before my birthday. <coughs> and these last few pieces are not whips. They're just something that I've started and finished during Christmas since my last video and I fully finished them yesterday and I'm so proud of myself because I was dreading it and putting it off and putting it off like to the point that I waited till after Christmas like I could have had them during Christmas because I think they were done around Christmas but this is my first stitching with the housewives um piece and I think it's five by five I wasn't sure what to do with it. I was overwhelmed by what to do with it because I went everywhere looking for something to put it on. You know how they like mount their stuff on cute little things from Hobby Lobby? So we don't have a Hobby Lobby and Hobby Lobby will not ship here. The ones don't even come up when you when you try to go to it for whatever reason. Um, so I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I looked up the Bona Pfeiffer How to Finish a Flat Fold. And I really, when I watched it, I was like, this is overwhelming. I don't think I can do this. But then, and then I went back to the store and looked and looked and looked and couldn't find anything. So I was like, flat finish it is. Flat fold it is. <laughs> but then after I did it, it was so easy after I figured out the concept of it. And I want to do a whole bunch more. I want to do one for every season. So I, this is all I had to work with, guys. I'm limited. I went everywhere looking for cording to put around it. Couldn't find any. Even went to like a fancy sewing store. Couldn't find any. They had yellow and yellow was not going to work. Um, don't remember the fabric. It's some random piece of fabric that I found. The backing fabric is beautiful. Don't know where I got it. But this is the front. I think it's adorable. It was a cute little quick stitch for Christmas and I wanted to try a um, stitching with the housewives. I think Helen D gave me the idea for, it was either Helen D or made by Michelle McGraw that put the charms of the year on there because I think uh, Steph from Pam and Steph, I can't remember their false name. 
gosh, I can't remember. Anyway, she said she doesn't like putting her initials and the year on there because of, she feels like it takes away from the piece. I kind of feel the same way, but I do for sure want the year on there. So I bought these charms, even though I will never use them ever again because I'm done with 2022, and put them on all of my Christmas finishes for this past year. And I think I got the idea from Helen D. But this is the only ribbon I could find. I put it around here. I made the flat fold. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. And it turned out amazing. The only thing I did different from Vonna Pfeiffer is I hot glued everything because I don't have access to all of the, what's it called, easy glue or whatever she used. I have Mod Podge and hot glue. I'm sure the Germans have some type of tacky stuff that they use but that would can that would require me to go around with my google translate on my phone and all of the craft stores and that's embarrassing so i definitely get looked at like a weirdo when i do that so i think it turned out cute i don't think using hot glue will become a problem although i burnt myself a gazillion times my fingertips are like i can't feel them right now so that is one of my christmas finishes these other ones are so stinking cute. I want to make all of them. So I have noticed two or three people. I think Amy Fiber Arts. No. Oh my gosh. I keep getting all the floss tubers mixed up. Oh, what's her name? It's not Stay at Home Stitcher. It's not Fiber Arts. Jeez. Uh, anyway... There was a couple of floss tubers that, Stitching Mommy, that's her name. She and <laughs> Stitching Moon, I think was her name, I can't, I can't remember anymore, had uh, started stitching these little pieces from Brooks Books. These are freebies from Brooks Books. And I was like, I saw the kitty one and I was like, that is so cute. My daughter would flip out. She loves cats so much. So I went on and started looking at them and oh my gosh, I couldn't choose. They were all so cute. But I started stitching them and I didn't want to do the calendar. I think it was for an advent calendar because I didn't want to stitch every single one of them. But there was a few in there that I was like, those are really cute. So I picked out a few and I turned them into ornaments. These are my first ornaments. The sides of them look like garbage, but like I said, I couldn't find anything to go around them. And I don't, my kids don't care. They're not going to pay attention to the side. But this is the kitty cat and it's so cute. Oh my gosh. Use the same bagging fabric because the, this is blue. And what's funny is I think Stitch and Mommy is using the same color blue for hers. And I didn't even realize until after we had, I had finished mine. But this is cute. My daughter is going to love it. She hasn't seen it yet. I'll just probably put all these up for Christmas and then pull them out at Christmas time and they'll all be surprised. My other daughter picked this one, handpicked this one out. My 15-year-old handpicked this out for herself. I only did three, so I need to do two more for the other kids. But this is the one she picked out. She thought it was so cute. Use the same backing fabric. I would like to purchase some round die cuts um, so I can do round ornaments. But, I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with square ornaments. But I just want to, now that I know how to do it, I want to do more. And I want to do, I want to have the option to do round. So the other one, I picked this out. I love it so much. But my son's already called it, so <laughs> it's so cute. Like, I keep saying that about every one of them, but look how cute. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. It's got the hot glue crap all over it. Same fabric on the back, the year. So cute. <laughs> I didn't do all of, I didn't do the, so like, on the free pattern, it has like a number and then there's like bigger snowflakes, but I just kept it really simple and just did like the, the smaller ones. So those are my Christmas finishes. I never can say that I have Christmas finishes, but now I do. I have some stuff to put up next year. Here's my problem though. 
I'm so attached to these and I'm so proud of these that I don't want to just go throw them in with my Christmas stuff. I want to just keep them out. <laughs> um, and I don't know how to store them because I'm too proud of them to just, I'm afraid they'll get lost with all the Christmas stuff. So anyway, that is my whips for 2022. Um, I didn't, I didn't even count to see how many that was. Let's see. Let's do that really quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Not terrible. Not terrible. I thought it was going to be way worse than that because it looks like there's way more than that. But, um, I have a couple of new patterns that I bought that I'm, uh, I'm trying my hardest to wait until I finish some of these. Um, there's a couple of other free patterns that I want to do for Valentine's Day. We'll see. We'll see how far that goes. <laughs> Every time I start a new one, my husband's like, just work on one of the ones you already have. And I'm like, you don't understand. I want to start this right now. But now that I have put all my old floss into my boxes, I'm a bobbinator. 100% always will be. I've tried the false tags or whatever they're called. I don't like it, so I'll never. I have some, like my Mill Hill is on false tags, and then some of my Autumn Lane Stitcher is on false tags. And I just, it's not for me. So after that, after I get done with those, I'll never, probably never do that. But yeah. This is a long, the longest video I think I've ever made. I apologize. I hope you enjoyed my whip parade and I hope you come back for more. Hopefully I'm more active this year, <laughs> but I will be posting a giveaway in the near future for reaching 100 subscribers. I had reached them like back in October, I think, and I may have lost a few since then because I've been so inactive, so. That's on me. It's not a big deal, but I do enjoy it. I, I kind of went through this thing where I was like, why do I even post a floss tape? It's a lot of work. Nobody watches it. I don't even have that many subscribers. And then that's why I think I feel like I fell off the wagon. I just didn't really see any point in it. But then I finished all of these. So I had a friend offer to watch all of my kids because my husband's out of town last night. And I finished all of these, and after I finished them, I was like, I don't, I don't personally know anybody that cross stitches, not one single person. So when I finished them, I was like, I have no one to show. I'll make a floss tube. <laughs> so that is why we do floss tube because we show our progress, we show our work, we show our finishes, and we know that this audience is going to appreciate those things. Whereas if I show my husband or my kids, they're not going to be nearly as impressed. They're going to be like, oh yeah, that's great mom. But they're not going to understand the work and the time and the effort and the, the pain, aka my numb fingers from hot glue that goes into it. But you guys know, you guys do the work and you guys put in the time and you enjoy it. And we share with each other because we all have a common interest so that's why we do floss tube and it motivated me to get back on today so i hope you have a wonderful week i hope you enjoy the holiday weekend coming up and hopefully you'll see me again soon <laughs>